In this session of Diagram Dazzles, let us focus on the plant anatomy from the NCRT textbook and that is nothing but the tears of the dicot stem. So you have the first picture here showing the ground plant, the complete section of the dicot stem and it shows the vascular bundles arranged in the ring. We are going to draw a small part of it enlarged highlighting the details of the vascular bundle. Right from the outermost layer called as the epidermis to the cortex and the innermost tail. For this, I will use my diagram which I have drawn and in this you can see that the epidermis is single layered and the outermost one and it bears cuticle, stomata and importantly the multicellular stem hairs which are called as trichome. Following the epidermis is the hypodermis. The hypodermis is made up of colonchyma and in the colonchyma you can see the presence of the corner thickenings. So drawing that is important. Following the next layer is the general cortex which is parenchymatis and then the endodermis is an important layer. It appears wavy in outline and it shows starch that is why it is called as a starch sheet. Following the endodermis comes the steel. The outermost region of the steel is nothing but the pericycle. Now the pericycle is many layered and it is alternate patches of sclerenchyma. In fact the sclerenchyma forms the bundle cap which is alternated by the parenchyma on the either sides. Next is the routine um, complex tissues, the phloem and the xylem but there is a cambium in between. And such a vascular bundle we call it as open. Since the phloem and xylem are present in the same radius, it is also called as conjoint. And then you can see the protoxylem facing the, the pith and that is why it is called as enda. The pith in fact radiates back in the form of medullary rays. So let us start with our diagram of the dicot stem. And here are the tricks. To begin with, you will have to draw an outline. The outline is simple like this, draw the border and in fact you can you should draw uh, around 5 lines but with good amount of spacing and it has to be drawn in a conical structure as you can see there. So this is the outline basically 5 parallel lines, uh, the third to fifth line is within the cone. Develop association, it looks like a cone ice cream. The cone ice cream is filled with different layers and that you will know when you do the detailing. So inside the cone ice cream you can see the first one appears like the chocolate chip, you can remember it. Okay, The second one is the filling and there are also the fruit grapes at the end of it. So remember the ice cream cone analogy here and do all the labels. Yes, to start with draw an outline which is light and start with the outermost border which is like a arc following that is the next line which runs parallel and remember you will have to keep around approximately uh, say 2 to 3 centimeters gap between the two layers here we are going to draw the cortex and after that draw the cone like this the base should be tapering and divide the cone into sections so this is the first section for the bundle cap then you know there is a phloem and then all of them should be drawn in parallel the cambium and finally the last space is for xylem so let us start with the five parallel lines okay which is drawn especially highlighting the vascular bundles to start with begin with the epidermis epidermis as you know has to be drawn as barrel shaped cells okay one after the other and then extend it to across the entire region you can shade over it showing the cuticle but the important structure to be highlighted there is nothing but the trichome so trichome since it is multicellular you will have to draw it as a multicellular structure with several cells in it so this is one depiction of the trico you can draw two or three such in this section as you can see here 
after the epidermis let us go straight away to the endodermis the endodermal cells should be drawn larger compared to the epidermis because they are specialized to store starch here so draw it across the outline and complete it next we'll move ahead with the important part of the vascular bundle the pericycle which is made up of sclerenchyma okay so you'll have to draw large polygonal cells like this keep it thin the outline should be thin in fact but make the cells large and polygonal extend it across and this is going to be the sclerenchyma since it is sclerenchyma you have to draw the secondary wall thickening the secondary wall thickening has to be drawn on the inner side this is a lignin it has to be really thick draw parallel and then dark running across the outer line so this is how you can draw for all the cells and it becomes easy if you draw the cells little wider and larger so that when you draw the inner cell wall layer it doesn't look very cramped so space it properly and then draw it once that is done you get your sclerenchymatous bundle cap ready which is nothing but the bust okay yes. so it should be semi lunar shape like this and its main function is to protect the phloem tissue underneath so below that you can see the phloem draw them like that of the initial cells which we draw for draw uh, sclerenchyma draw them large but importantly some of the cells you will have to dot them indicating the section passing through the sieve plate with the sieve pores so you can do it for one or two and once you are done go ahead with the cambium so the cambium comprises of the meristematic tissues which are also very thin wall and they can regain the power of uh, cell division and contribute to the secondary tissue so this is how you draw cambium very thin rectangular cells but don't forget to put the nucleus as a central dot okay so this is how you draw the nucleus draw two or three layers like that following this layer of the cambium but see to that it is fitted in with the outline which you drew previously the next region is very very important because here we are going to draw the xylem so once you draw the xylem draw circles in fact you will have to draw 3 to 4 layers of the circles but this circles should be drawn in the order of decreasing size so you can see the topmost one is large which corresponds to the metaxylem and the lower one should be small that corresponds to the protoxylem so once you are drawn around 3 to 4 layers of xylem remember xylem also has got the secondary wall thickening that has to be shown okay so this is important it corresponds to the grapes in our ice cream cone once that is done you will have to fill the surrounding regions with the tissue what is this tissue about this tissue is nothing but the uh, parenchyma associated with the xylem it also represents the tracheids which are associated with the xylem vessels so completely fill the diagram and once you are done with it remember you will have to keep the diagram very light only xylem should be darkened wherever there is secondary wall thickening the darkening should be shown wherever there is scope for drawing light diagrams okay keep it light so a vascular bundle is complete but we'll have to fill in the surrounding tissues the surrounding tissue start with the uh, in fact the pericycle yes so alternating the sclerenchyma is the pericycle which is parenchymatous draw them and then as you extend down remember you are going to draw the medullary ray cells so they are also parenchymas this so when you draw parenchyma remember the size like we discussed in the previous um, anatomy diagram the size should be kept varying some rounded some large some sleeping some standing etc so this is how you fill the parenchyma around and preferably keep it very very light 
you will have to draw it with a gentle touch of the pencil so once that is completed do the same filling to the cortex region which is below the epidermis so fill it completely so that it uh, fits in the border and once that is done keep also in mind you will have to leave a triangular space which corresponds to the intercellular space so your diagram once it is completed will appear like this next what you will have to do is fill the corner thickenings of the colon chyma so once you fill in the colon colon chyma corner thickenings just shade or darken the triangular gaps which you find in the first two layers remember the first two layers only because that corresponds to the hypodermis part of the cortex below the epidermis is colon chymatis but the rest of them will be parenchymatis so remember only the first two layers you will have to keep it colon chymatis once that is done the diagram will appear like this so here the beauty of anatomy is always with showing the lightness and the dark shading in the diagram the light shading in the diagram or with the pressure of the pencil when you draw it corresponds to the secondary wall thickening or some corner thickening which is present now let us go on to the label so outermost is epidermis then we have the trichome hypodermis colon chymatis general cortex endodermis the star sheet importantly the bundle caps clearin chymatis followed by the phloem and then next is the cambium as you can see here then we start with the xylem that is importantly the larger vessels are called as metaxylem and then the smaller ones which you can see facing the pith is a protoxylem the pith extends as the medullary ray so this is the label which will have to do corresponding to the diagrams remember not only drawing the anatomical diagram